Tell all brought to you by the Valley Transportation Authority. Say hello to Larry. And the best place to do that, by the way, is on YouTube because you can see him. Hello, everybody. Yep. He's wearing a, a T-shirt that is promoting himself. There you How go. About that? Yeah. Krug Show, t- like Krug said, Show channel. Check it out. Yeah. There's a it's lot the of... flex moment of the day. Yeah. There's a lot of narcissism in <laughs> our industry. Uh, yes. There's nothing like wearing a Thank T-shirt you. of yourself. <laughs> Uh, look at look everybody! It's it's me. <laughs> what if I had a big picture? I hey. think I think you should on the get back. A big picture. Yeah, you just get a good. I mean, you get a beautiful face. You Thank should you. just put it right Thank on the you. back of your shirt, and so that way, when people can't see your front, they can still see your front. <laughs> That's what you should do. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. Please, please do keep me up to date. Um, all right, so lots still to get into. Uh, the offensive line woes. You'd be surprised who their best offensive lineman was yesterday. Um, I, I think as we move forward without Eli Mitchell for a little while, there needs to be a running back conversation, not just in terms of who's going to play, but the way that the 49ers have approached that position the last two years to use early draft picks on running backs that one is now an eagle and, and the other one's deactivated, I, I, I think is a very fair uh, even if you don't want to call it criticism because it's week one and I don't know why TDP was down or, gosh, he could come out and be great. He could pop next week. I don't know how that's going to go. So we're not calling people a bust after one football game in their I mean, career. TDP is not a bust. I'll tell you that. Right well, now. we just can't even go there yet. But there's an approach there that I think is confusing to people, and that's fair. Like... You're so good at taking undrafted backs. Why are you wasting day two picks on on backs? Right. And then you're like, oh, I forgot. We don't have any really good offensive linemen. Like, maybe we should have done that or something with that draft capital. So that's a very fair question. Um, But what about this? All right. So phone rings. One ringy dingy. Dingling, dingling. Two two ringy dingy. Um, Hi, John. It's it's Jarrah. (laughs) <laughs> Hi, my name's Jared Jones. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! I just uh, watched high school football at the uh, star. Uh, <laughs> it did look like high school football, doesn't it? I need a quarterback. Wondered if y'all have any that you might be able to spare. I was I was fixing to get me a quarterback. <laughs> I was fixing to get me I one. Fin- I finna get me a quarterback. All right, so uh, there's all kinds of ifs and buts and questions so, do the Dallas Cowboys offer a one? That seems pretty expensive. Do they offer a two? You have to offer at least a two. The 49ers will get a three just by waiting this out, letting Jimmy go as a free agent, right? So, if they were to offer a one or a two... They're not going to offer a one, so it's really more about the two. Well, their season is completely on the brink already. We watched their backup for a short period of time. He's terrible. If you do hand the reins over to Cooper Rush... Your season lasted three hours. Right. It's over. And so, you have a very expensive stadium, kind of like what Joe Lacob has with the Warriors. Dallas has the NFL equivalent. You're the Dallas Chase freaking Center. Cowboys. Yeah. You're not going to just give up on a season a week. And look at your, your division is not scary at all. No. And your fans are expecting you to be a playoff team. Exactly. Okay. Including okay. Guru. In the other room. They already know exactly what happens when Dak gets hurt. We watched it a couple of years ago. It doesn't go anywhere good. So, Dallas calls. Now, you're the 49ers. You know what you know. First of all, Jimmy would have to say yes. Got a no-trade clause. Okay? But you're the 49ers. You've now watched Trey Lance play one game, even though it was in a sideways monsoon. What do you say? Do you hang up the phone? Or is Garoppolo on his way to Texas? I'm listening. I'm absolutely listening. And based on what I saw yesterday, I'm really listening because I think Trey can handle it. It's not going to get a whole lot worse. I know there are better teams than the Bears, but, um, you know, dealing with your first start and the conditions and, you know, the expectations and everything, uh, I thought he looked really, really solid. So I like what I saw from Trey. I think he's going down the right path. I think they got the right guy. And so that would make me... Like, if he had looked like... Uh, Gio Carmazzi, if he had had some flaw that showed itself yesterday where, like, wow, that motion is not an NFL motion, I wouldn't be saying this. But I don't think that, that I, don't, I think he is an NFL starting quarterback, and I think he'll get there. Um, it's tough, though, Mark, because the Niners want to win this year, too. 
And they do not want this year solely to be a referendum on Trey Lance. Right. And that's why Jimmy's back. That's one of the reasons Jimmy's back. The other one was that uh, Schefter reported over the weekend, Sunday morning, that unbeknownst to the Niners, the Rams had been kicking the tires on Jimmy Garoppolo. And so we'd kind of floated that out when Jimmy was restructured that they didn't want that intel winding up in L.A. Yeah, and, and not just intel. You don't want the Rams to be good. If Stafford's right. got a problem, then deal with it, L.A. We're not going to help you. Right. So, yeah, maybe that was part of the conversation. Um, what about this on YouTube? I want, I want, I want, I would definitely move him to Dallas, but I definitely want at least a second round pick. Well, you have to, because again, you're going to get a third just for waiting this thing out. So I, I, I would, as a comp pick next year. So I would definitely, like a two is where the conversation starts if it were to happen. And my answer is I'd totally do it. I, I would absolutely do it. I like, w w we're not here for a hedge. Like, Trey's your guy.